Hey guys, Caduce Campbell here for TheButtonSmashers.com and this is our review for Hue. This is a game that you need, and I say need, to play. He was like the love child of games like Limbo, Super Metroid, and Paint. Yes, Paint. It's a stylish puzzle platformer with beautiful music and a charming story that could bring tears to a stone gargoyle's eyes. At the price that it's selling for and the amount of systems that it's available on, you need to buy this game. So let's get into the thick of things. What is Hue? Hue is one of the main properties of color, described technically as the degree to which a stimulus can be described as similar to or different from stimuli that are described as red, green, blue, and yellow. Orange and violet are the other hues for a total of six. You're probably wondering why I felt the need to give you a lesson on colors. Well, it's simple really. This particular game is all about colors, specifically the ones I just mentioned. Hue, the game, is a puzzle platformer that follows a young boy by the same name who wakes up to a world of black and white shades similar to the likes of games like Limbo. However, unlike Limbo, the world of Hue is inhabited. It's filled with people going around their two-dimensional black and white lives. Your character, Hue, is soon given the ability to view objects of different colors. Each area consists of a series of rooms with color-based puzzles for you to solve. Upon completing a series of rooms, you are rewarded with the ability to view a new color to continue your adventure. During my time with it, I found this game's plot to be very charming. One might go so far as to call it sugar sweet, especially because of the eloquent female voice which you encounter at the beginning of each of the new segments of the game. I won't spoil who the voice belongs to or why it's there, but if you play the game, you'll soon figure it out and why that voice is so significant to the plot of the game. It's funny. I don't remember much after that day on the grass. I do know that Dr. Gray and I spent many a time together. I would compliment him on his work and his cheeks would flush with a pinkness. <laughs> He'd notice and change the subject embarrassed. This work we were doing together, it, it didn't feel much like work anymore. Graphically, he was nothing that's going to stress any kind of hardware. It's a simple looking 2D game with a few effects that make it look like a hand drawing off the pages of a kid's sketchbook. But that doesn't prevent it from being captivating. The way the colors change the environment around Hue, and the way the 2D animations all look in motion, it begs to be seen, to be explored, it needs to be experienced, it begs to be. That experience includes a set of mesmerizing classical scores that accompany you on your adventure. For fans of classical music, you're in for a real treat. The music is so good and there are moments when I put down my controller and simply sat in my chair listening to it as I lost myself in the beauty of what I was listening to. As for the way the game plays, well, just like everything else, it's exceptional. The controls are tight and simple to grasp, and the game paces itself really well, so there's no need to worry about any sudden difficulty spikes. When you first start the game, you're able to use just one color, so the puzzles are more along the line of figuring out how to move objects in the room to get to the exit. And by the time you find all the colors, you'll be switching between colors like Michelangelo painting his next big piece while dodging obstacles and jumping from platform to platform. The color switching mechanic is handled by using the right analog stick on your controller while the left analog stick controls your movements. The A button makes you jump and the X button allows him to grab objects. This control scheme sounds simple and it is, however it scales really well from simple puzzles to more difficult sections that will have you switching colors in midair while platforming. So, with all that I've said so far about Hue, here's my final verdict. All in all, Hue is an amazing game. If you haven't figured it out by this point of the review, allow me to spell it out for you. I am in love with this game. It's just the kind of game that one needs for a trip, 
or maybe a date with a very special someone. It's both simple and complex at the same time in every way you can imagine. Even the story, though simple, if looked at from a certain point of view will have your jaw drop while your mind gets blown away by its hidden complexities. Thank you very much for watching our review of Hugh. If you enjoyed this review, make sure to give us a like and let us know what you think about the game in the comment section below. If you'd like to see more reviews like this one, make sure to subscribe to this channel.